the United Nations High Commissioner had called out the military officials in Myanmar for unjust practices towards civilians. This was after social media was flooded with videos of violence against the residents protesting against the military takeover. After the military forcefully took over the Myanmar administration on February 1, there have been innumerable protests in various parts of the country. Suu Kyi is the leader of the country and she was detained following the allegations of fraud in elections. As per the Election Commission's report, Kai won the election held in November and they have also denied any malpractice, which the military refuses to believe. And from military junta came ahead of Suu Kyi's trail scheduled for Monday. The ousted state councillor has been put on trial for breaching COVID-19 protocols in November while campaigning for her party. She reportedly avoided following the guidelines putting thousands of civilians' lives at risk. She has also been charged with bribery, intent to incite and breach of Official Secrets Act. Eagle representative said that her trial will stretch till July and the matter could not be hurried in any way. She was also charged for accepting $600,000 and 11.4 kilograms worth of gold from a former minister. Such claims have been rejected by senior party officials but the military refused to believe them. A report suggested that over 800 people have died during the administrative crackdown in the last three months, further increasing the concerns of human rights violations.